Dear investor, over the last period, market has proved resilient in front of several negative events. So election results were below expectations, the budget increased capital gains tax on equities, Japanese Central Bank increased interest rate causing a sharp upswing in JPY versus other currencies. There are slowdown concerns in the US economy and uh, there has been a drop in US 10-year bond yields. In the neighborhood, Bangladesh uh, faced turmoil and there was a threat of refugee crisis. Top of it, there has been a sharp reduction in number of scripts which are marginable with the exchanges. Now, let's look at these one by one. The first two events can be explained through the damage to earnings growth prospect of the economy. As we had noted earlier, a 1% drop in earnings growth over a 10-year period has a potential to damage valuations by 5%. Now, while the election outcomes could be whatever, but we believe as yet there is continuity of policy making momentum and direction which implies that earnings momentum may remain the same and till the belief holds we believe any damage to valuation on this count is not warranted. Increase in capital gains tax does impact the take uh, of the investors especially direct investors. The impact of the tax changes is an extra 0.3 to 0.4 percent tax payout versus earlier regime for alternate investors, you know, PMS, AIF investors or direct stock investors. For over a year of investment, you know, uh, uh, for a mutual fund vehicle, which is the uh, most tax efficient vehicle, so if a guy holds mutual fund for a period of a year and then sells, well, the taxation earlier would come to 12 and a half into 20, it's like two and a half percent for mutual funds and on the other hand for alternates it would be 3%. For the assumptions taken above, you know, so there is a disadvantage of 0.5% which would uh, compound over a period of time. MFs themselves would have seen 2% tax in the earlier regime versus 2.5% now, so 20% uh, multiplied by 10% earlier versus 12.5% on 20% now. The market did undergo a correction mathematically of 2.5% over uh, time in response to the CG tax increase. So we, we, thought, we, we think that this is now priced in. Japanese yen is the carry currency and an uptick in the yen did roil the global market and India was no exception. However, as we have noted earlier, the influence of FPI money on domestic market has been waning and it is the domestic money that is the key driver of the market. The drop in the market on Japanese yen induced volatility did again prove to be a great opportunity to buy as markets normalized. Uh, Japanese interest rates may increase again in October and the same volatility may present itself. However, now since it is no longer unexpected, the volatility cost should be lower. Uh, US bond yields which had risen to over 4.5% in April to June period fell sharply to below 3.85 on fears of US economic slowdown. Now it has two in uh, uh, takeaways. Uh, uh, one, the Fed has indicated first rate cut in September. Uh, more recent data indicates the rate cut could be sharper than 25 bips also. Uh, the, the other is the US economy slowdown is negative global trade and sectors like IT which are very linked to the US could see slower uptake. Now Indian goods trade is only 18% of GDP and a slowdown in one of the global economies does not impact our economic outlook significantly. Moreover, spaces driving exports in India are substituting other country exports and should not be impacted. Now uh, oil prices also reacted and saw a sharp fall. So any slowdown in growth uh, does this. So on one hand, there may be a small dip in export, but on the other hand, the country gains from 
lower oil prices. A fall in oil prices uh, more than compensates for any trade loss that the country may experience. Lastly, Bangladesh saw popular elected government getting toppled and there was a threat of another refugee crisis. Uh, some Indian companies have presence in that country and uh, there was a fear of business disruptions. However, this, this situation seems to be now uh, settling in. From August 1, markets had to digest NSC removing 1010 stocks including few large mid caps and large caps from the margining approved list. This also resulted in some selling pressure in the market. Uh, you know, RBI also took measures, so uh, personal loans, unsecured loans by banks are clearly being discouraged. So with the thought that some bit of this money could be going to the stock markets. Now the resilience of the Indian market in the face of the above events stands out globally. Many developed world markets may have reacted more. Increasingly our markets are standing out. Coming to the next topic, the takeaways from the results season gone by and our thoughts on uh, alpha. Uh, mid and small cap universe was a tad ahead versus large cap on uh, earnings growth in this quarter. This quarter saw the first YOI decline in aggregate earnings in four years. The drop in profits was mainly on account of commodity pack including oil which had an unfavorable base effect, inventory losses and so on. Several spaces such as defense, auto banks, banks, cables, capital goods, NBFCs, telecom, brokerages etc. continue to do well. Uh, as we had noted earlier, a percentage higher growth sustaining for 10 years is close to 5% higher valuations. If we use this yardstick, clearly on two-year forward basis, the valuations in the market seem to be sustaining as yet. We are exposed to fast-growing young spaces in the economy and the past result season was good for many of our portfolio companies in spaces like brokerages, exchanges, consumer durables, EMS, luxury consumption, renewable energy etc and aided performance. As we go forward the base effect could kick in and the growth increasingly would become premium. We believe that in such a market growth orientation of our portfolio companies should stand out and aided by rate cuts which, which, which should start from, the, from this month itself we should see tailwinds for our growth focused style of investing. Higher earnings growth oriented businesses could see relative strength in the coming period and should help generate alpha. Uh, we hence expect that it continues to be time for alpha. With this, thank you, happy investing and may the good times continue. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.